Oh, okay, okay. No. Okay. Um, in the Indian Ocean, we call it Southwest Indian Ocean, a tropical cyclone, um, uh, tropical cyclone team that falls under WMO, which is World Meteorological Organization. Each and every two years, we meet uh, as countries, South Africa is also represented, and each and every country, they provide 26 names covering all alphabets from A to Z. Uh, South Africa will provide one, Mozambique will provide one, Zimbabwe, Mauritius, and Madagascar. Then in two years, we will meet and we'll have a conference or a meeting, uh, whatever. Then they will sit down and we'll decide on the official uh, 26 names. So you find that, for example, I think the name was coming from, if I'm not wrong, it was coming from Botswana, I think, because Botswana is part of that. So usually if your name, uh, if maybe South Africa, we suggested 26 names, and they chose two names, which is A and B, definitely will have the storm that is measured, that will be named after that. Because once the first storm, happen and it reached certain intensity, then we name it and we start with A. So Freddy, that means that we had about, we can safely say that we had about five storm, named storm, before Freddy, because Freddy is, is, is F. And the next storm that will develop, it will be uh, G. So the name will start with G. So it's basically the, the, the list that WMO Will, will, will combine with the inputs from all the countries that will start from A to Z. So I think with the naming convention, one of the familiar questions that we used to get is why uh, they used to be named after women, uh, names and but now it's after <laughs> men's name. Yes, previously they used to be named after women's name, but, but we have seen now we have Freddy, no more uh, uh, Katrina, no more Dine, or no one. So now it's, 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 um, it doesn't matter in terms of the name. This is the standard that we've adopted. Whereas in the past years, they used to be dominantly uh, named after women's.